today's video, I'd just like to share that 94% of my viewers aren't subscribed. So if you are feeling generous, be sure to drop a like and a sub, and let's get right into today's video. Thank you. Howdy, I'm Daxio, and this is Plugged In News. And in today's pin update, we have Arizona is the first state to sue Biden administration over vaccine mandate, as well as North Korea launches two ballistic missiles as fear grows over nuclear capability. Let's get right into that. And for the first story today, this is coming from Breitbart News by Wendell Husbo, and it is Arizona first state to sue Biden administration over vaccine mandate. And it goes on to read, the state of Arizona has sued the Biden-Harris administration over the egregious coronavirus vaccine mandate, which Arizona Attorney General Mark Brnovich argues violates the Constitution's Equal Protection Clause by discriminating against U.S. citizens as illegal immigrants in federal law enforcement's custody are not subordinate to the same vaccine mandates. In a nutshell, an Authorized immigrants will not be subject to any vaccination requirements even when released directly into the United States, while roughly uh, 100 million U.S. citizens will be subject to unprecedented vaccine requirements, uh, Bernovich told a federal district court in Arizona in a 14-page filed complaint. This reflects an unmistakable and unconstitutional brand of favoritism in favor of unauthorized immigrants. Brnovich asked the court to render the mandate unconstitutional. The mandate forces mid to large sized businesses and federal employees and contractors to be vaccinated. The mandate is enforced by a $14,000 uh, fine per violation. The Biden administration is once again flouting our laws and precedents to push their radical agenda, Brnovich tweeted. There can be no serious or scientific discussion about containing the spread of COVID-19 that doesn't begin at our southern border. He's completely correct. Biden is letting in a bunch of unvaccinated people while trying to get our own people vaccinated. Doesn't make sense. That's really all I'm going to say on the story other than, again, yeah, no, there's going to be a whole lot of states that sue the Biden-Harris administration over this vaccine mandate, and it's going to be coming. I don't think they're actually going to end up getting sued because he's the president and they'll just be like, oh, we're just laying off, blah, blah, blah. whatever happens, happens. But at the end of the day, these vaccine mandates aren't going to go through. And for the next story today, this is coming from the Mirko UK by William Walker and this North Korea launches two ballistic missiles as fear grows over nuclear capability. And it goes on to read, North Korea has fired two ballistic missiles, South Korea's military said on Wednesday amid fears over the state's nuclear capabilities. Japanese Prime Minister Yushahide Suga called the ballistic missile launch outrageous and strongly condemned the action as a threat to peace and security of the region. Japan's Coast Guard said the projectile appeared to have landed outside the country's exclusive economic zone, which I assume, because they'll say later in the story that it landed in the water, I'm pretty sure, but I assume that's like just a fishing area is their exclusive economic zone. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said in a statement that they and the U.S. intelligence authorities were analyzing more details about the launches. The statement said, North Korea fired two unidentified ballistic missiles from its central inland region toward the east coast, and intelligence authorities of South Korea and the United States are conducting detailed analysis for further information. The South Korean military has raised its level of surveillance, and it's maintaining a full readiness posture in close cooperation with the U.S., the JCS added. No ships or aircraft have been reported damaged after objects fell in the waters between Japan and the Korean Peninsula. The country, which neighbors the secret of state, will convey or convene a National Security Council meeting over the missile launches. Analysts say the missile could be the country's first such weapon with nuclear capabilities. Again, yeah, they have nuclear capabilities, but at the end of the day... So many of our enemies have nuclear capabilities, and so many world powers have nuclear capabilities. So what is that going to change? I mean, they did they did launch it like really close to Japan, which isn't a good thing, and it might be escalating into a war. And then next thing you know, the whole the whole world's nuked. But hopefully that doesn't happen. Anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like, drop a sub down below, drop a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what I can do to improve. And thanks for staying plugged in. Peace out, crew.